Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 346. Uh, again, it's an easy level problem. This could have been the first problem as well, but yeah. So we have got two easy problems today. So uh, the problem name is Lexographically Smallest Palindrome. So it says that you are given a string S consisting of lowercase English letters and you are allowed to perform operations on it. In one operation, you can replace a character in S with another lowercase English letter. Okay, your task is to make S a palindrome with the min with minimum number of operations possible. If there are multiple palindromes that can be made using minimum number of operations, make the lexographically smallest one. Okay, now a string A is lexographically smaller than a string B of the same length. If the first position where string A and string B differ and string A has a letter that appears earlier in the alphabet than the corresponding letter in D. So return the resulting palindrome and string, right? So first thing, what is a palindrome? A string that reads the same from left and right. Like for example, A, B, A, this is a palindrome, right? A, B, A like this, A, B, A like this. The second thing is, what is lexicographically smaller string? So suppose you are, let's consider two strings of the same length. So suppose it is A, B, C and A, B, D, right? They have the same length. So just see, find the first position where they are different. First position, you have A, A. Second position, you have B, B. Third position, they are different. Now, if they are different, then what are the characters? So here I have C, here I have D. Which letter comes first in the uh, alphabetical order? C comes first. So, so that means this is a lexicographically smaller string as compared to the second one, right? Simple. If you sort it, which word will come, uh, uh, you know, in the dictionary before the other one? So that is lexicographically smaller string, right? So what we have to do, we are given a string and we have to potentially replace some characters or that can be none as well. Replace some characters to... Uh, basically return your palindromic substrings now if there are multiple possibilities like for example if i replace one character uh, at different positions and i get palindromic strings so you have to return the lexicographically smallest one right like for example the first example is e g c f e so just see for a string to be palindrome this character and this character has to be same so they are same no no operation needed now this and this character has to be same if it has to be palindrome right now Either I can replace this G with F. So it becomes E, F, C, F, E. Or what I can do, I can replace this F with G. So what I'll get, I'll get E, G, C, G, E. These are the two possibilities. Both has just one replacement. But this guy is lexicographically smaller than this guy. Why? Because the first point of difference is this. And F comes before G in the dictionary. Getting it? So that's why you do E, F, C, F, E and not E, G, C, G, E, okay? Similarly, you have A, B, C, D. So A, these two characters has to be same, right? So instead of making this as D, right? You make this as A. Similarly, if this is B, this is C. So what do you do? Instead of making this as C, you make this as B. So A, B, B, A is your answer. Now S, E, V, E, N. This and this character have to be same, right? So don't make this, uh, so you have to make this as N, right? Don't make this as S because N comes before, right? So you make it N. Okay, I've done one operation. This E and E same. V is a single character, so no need because it's an odd length palindromic string, right? So this is the final string. The minimum number of operations to make seven a palindromic is one and the lexicographically smallest one is the one that we have seen, right? So that's it. What, what we'll do? The length of the string can be this. So all we need to do is Take two pointers, one at the start, one at the end. Check for the corresponding characters. If they are same, well and good. If they are different, pick the smaller character, uh, which comes before, which comes initially in the dictionary and place it at both the places. So one place already has that character. You'll do one operation to replace the other one, right? That's what we have done here. It's a very small code. I've taken string builder because I can replace the characters and new strings will not be created, right? It's I know it's Java specific thing, but yeah, I've taken string builder here. This is the number of characters I have. I equals to zero, I less than L by two. Because if this is my string, I'll be comparing this and this, this and this. So even if I just reach half the string, I've actually traversed all of them, right? So you don't need to do it again. Otherwise, what will happen? You'll get the original string, right? You'll again compare these two, okay? Check what are the characters, C1 and C2. So character at position I and L minus one minus I, right? That means zero and L minus one. One and L minus two and so on. Now, if these two characters are not same, so what do you do? Check if C1 is less than equals to C2, then C1 will have C1, else it will have C2. Then 
string string builder dot set character at position i s c one st dot set character l minus one minus i s c one okay so instead of you add instead of adding if else condition that okay if this character is uh, already what we want then replace the other one so instead of that you can replace both of them that won't be an issue okay uh, and yes finally what you do you return your you convert this string builder into string and return your answer right so yeah that's it for the solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries you have in your mind mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye